and eat all the things. And um, I'm going to tell you, I'm actually less hungry yesterday. I was going to say, I'm not hungry. So, um, book's coming out today. Woo! So I'd love for you to check that out. If you have Kindle Unlimited, you can get it for free. If you don't, it's just $5.99. And we have tested every single one of those recipes and they are all awesome. They are really, really good. Sometimes we've tested more than once. Yes. <laughs> well, most of these things are, are things that are part of our uh, our normal, you know, meal rotation. These aren't just, you know, a bunch of recipes we, we tried for your cookbook and then never used again. They're, they're good. Yeah. Some of them are a little more expensive to make or have a lot more sodium or calories than we would normally eat, but, you know, they're good for every now and then when you just really want something that's, like, really craving Japanese food or Mexican food. Or so. Pineapple looks like one okay, really. <laughs> That was a good thing. It really was. Yeah. yeah, right before starting the whole 30 half a Halloween uh, this month, we, we redid the, the pineapple upside down cake. And I'm glad we did. <laughs> that was a nice way to kick off. So, I'm going to get that out and hopefully, I've already got it edited, but hopefully the grits video will be coming out today. I didn't want to put it out since I put out two videos yesterday. That would have been a bit much. Um, let's see, what else do we have to do? <laughs> Uh, oh, we have uh, we have dinner with my parents mm -hmm. at a restaurant. Yeah, we'll be going out to eat at a restaurant tonight. So we get to go through the challenges of sticking on Whole Thirty at a restaurant. So we'll let you guys know how that goes. Yeah. In tomorrow's video. Of course, this uh, restaurant is like a steakhouse, so it's really pretty easy. The best thing is to get a salad and get some protein and ask them to make sure that it's cooked in butter. Um, they have what's called the Big A salad. <laughs> and you get to put whatever meat on it. It's really good. And then just ask them to leave the croutons off. And then we bring our own salad dressing. So we'll be bringing one of our mayonnaise based salad dressings with us. It'll be delicious. Yeah. You can also get a burger without a bun. You just need to make sure that the that you tell them to cook that in butter too. Or I know butter's not really whole 30, but it's better than having vegetable it cooked oil. in vegetable oil. I can tell when they cook it in vegetable oil because I feel like oh, EIA vegetable oil. Yeah, there's nothing quite like that feeling that you've just eaten vegetable oil. I know a lot of you eat a lot of vegetable oil, so you don't know what I'm talking about because you feel that way all the time. It's normal. Yeah, you don't know yet. If you but, stick with us, you, you will. Yeah, if you, if you actually eat this way and then you eat vegetable oil, you're going to know it. You're going to be like, oh, oh God, why? Why do I feel like a zombie? You will feel like you look like Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> and you will sound that way too. Like, <laughs> not pleasant. I don't feel like that. I feel like a zombie. I feel like someone yeah, has different. embalmed me because everything hurts. Yeah. That's one of the great things about switching to paleo, like, long term, is your body adapts to it and it will let you know when you're not doing paleo. 
If you eat something that's not tailored, you will know it. And then it becomes, do I really want this treat? Is my craving for this treat better than, you know, stronger than how bad I'm about to feel once I eat it? <laughs> and most of the time, honestly, it's no. Because mm -mm. once you get used to not being in a vague, you know, pain all over for a while, once you're not used to that anymore, you'd be amazed that, uh, that you ever, you know, could function feeling that way. It's like, you know, when we, when we do eat the bad stuff and we're sitting there, we're like, oh, oh, and then it goes, it floats to the back of my head. We used to do this all the time. We used to eat like this every meal, every day. It's like, did we hurt like this and feel like this all the time? Yes. Yes, we did. Yes, you did. And it's amazing how you get used to that and you just feel like, oh, well, that's just how things are. It's not. It really isn't. And I hate people saying that. I really just, I really just want to go, no, it's not. It's not how things are. If you ate like I eat, you would know better. But I just can't give up. I swear up. people would rather complain than change. And for those of us who did change, we, we really don't want to listen to the complaints. I don't. Especially if I am sitting there telling you how much better I feel at the age of 39 than they do. And they're usually like younger than me. And they're sitting there going, oh, I just feel so bad all the time. Shut up. <laughs> right. But the, the most but heartbreaking. But I, I also understand it because I was like that as myself. I was just like that. People would say, oh, Deborah, if you'd feel better if you ate this way. And I'm like, you don't know anything. You're stupid. You're old, you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you're so old and stupid. Because I remember having a conversation online with a woman who told me that if you ate organic, that yeah, it's more expensive, but you'll fill up faster because you're actually getting the nutrients that you need from the food so your body stops telling you that it needs more food and I'm like oh my god that is so stupid <laughs> but it was true and yeah, I apologize that to that woman true. if she's watching I so apologize to you because <laughs> you were right and you were right, we were wrong. <laughs> yeah, it took me 10 years to actually realize that she was right. And I'm very sorry about that. But hey, you feel 10 years younger, so I guess it even out. <laughs> oh, the part that breaks my heart is when people complain about how their kids feel or how their kids act. And you know in the back of your head, it's because of what they're feeding the kids. Right? You know, and if you, if people don't want you to tell them how to, how to eat for themselves, you, you, you try to tell them something about the kids, then no. -uh. Well, it's a lot of people complain about not having any energy when they have these very busy lifestyles, you know. And I understand when you have the busy lifestyle, it's probably the last thing on your anybody's mind is you know cooking yeah but if, if you ate the way we eat you would have so much more energy for that fast paced lifestyle it would be really helpful and there are ways to kind of simplify the cooking um mel juan in her book well fed she has a what she calls a Dang, I can't remember because it's kind of based on the, the CrossFit thing where they do the workout of the day but it's the uh, cook up of the week kind of thing oh, I can't remember that it just sucks <laughs> and then there's also make ahead paleo we got a whole book on oh yeah where you make it and freeze it and then reheat it you do your once a day cooking and then uh whole 30 that big book that i've got they have you know in 
kind of a simplified menu in there for a week of food and tell you what to prepare the night before so that you have your lunches and everything. So one, one trick I learned uh, early on was involved drumsticks. The, uh, pretty much every week I go to the, to the grocery store and I go to the local one because they have a, a meat department so it's cheaper and it's usually locally sourced uh, chicken anyway which is better so if you, you know, get locally sourced and it's cheaper that's, you can't beat that but uh, you know I'll get big packs of uh, it's about 14 15 drumsticks in a pack and then I cook them all at the same time take the roasting pan that has all the, the drippings and everything in it and put it on the floor for the dog which is why the dog is my best friend <laughs> And then, you know, I put the cooked drumsticks in a Ziploc bag in the fridge. And that is unbelievably helpful because, you know, it, it takes about an hour to roast them in the oven. But once that's done, you know, it only takes a couple minutes to heat them up. So, you know, we, we, we prefer doing, you know, lots of different recipes and having a lot of variety in what we eat. but. You know how it is when you're working, you've got kids, like kids in school, or kids in a lot of different activities and everything, you don't have that kind of time. Being able to, you know, open a Ziploc bag in the fridge, pull out a few drumsticks and heat them up. And another nice thing about the drumsticks is it's automatic portion control. It's a drumstick. Serving size, one drumstick. <laughs> so that has been, uh, Pretty helpful convenience. That and eggs, because eggs don't take long at all, and yeah. you can't get much more paleo than eggs. Nope. Especially the way we make them. A lot of people, when you make scrambled eggs, for example, you know, you put milk in them to scramble them up. We put bone broth, and those are the tasty dang eggs. Yeah, <laughs> and they really help your skin and hair and nails. Oh yeah. I can tell when we're not eating that as much because after a few weeks, my nails start looking brittle and start breaking. But when we're eating it, and you know, you're not gonna see the results right away because it takes a while for your nails to grow. They're not just gonna harden if you eat it like for a week and go, oh, that didn't do anything, that didn't help. Now, you know, it's great. not going to thicken them up they're going to grow thicker so you have to eat like that for like a month before you really see anything yeah the change was so profound you can actually feel a ridge on your nails where they're growing in thicker and healthier yep. once that happens so. or if your nails are thick because you're eating too much sugar you'll see a profound ridge where your nails are coming in thinner. Yeah, that's what I've got going on because uh, I always, have, you know, I have brittle type one diabetes, which means you know I can eat pretty much the same thing every day, but my sugar's gonna be all over the place. So finally, we had to we had to really double down and get hardcore. I check my sugar every two hours now, and that has helped keep it under control. So I've, I've noticed a change in my nails from that. Your nails can tell you a lot about how you feel yep. if you're not sure. <laughs> so a lot of people you know complain about brittle nails and you know hair and everything like that. We make all kinds of products to strengthen your nails and strengthen your hair and that's you know treating the symptoms. Or people take pills. Yeah. But, you know, most of us don't think, why is it, is it normal to have brittle nails? Is that really a normal thing? So I've noticed living on Paleo that, you know, we take for granted so many things that are supposedly normal that, that are symptoms of not being, you know, being sick. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, oh. <laughs> Speaking of pills. 
months ago we had um, we had a day where we ate some sardines which oh. up until that point was one of the few fish that I could eat that did not break me out in hives so I know it's a little stuffy today so I'll oh. breathe a little harder <laughs> Anyway, so, you know, salmon broke me out in hives, tuna broke me out in hives, I could eat sardines, I could eat anchovies, and I really like to have um, a little bit of anchovy paste in my Caesar dressing that we make. It's good. It really is. So anyway, as I was saying, um, so... You know, I like to have a little oily fish, usually about once a week, but I, after that, uh, that night, I just broke out in hives, I had to take Benadryl, I didn't go to work the next day because I couldn't wake up, so, and Benadryl makes me loopy, very loopy. Yes, it does. <laughs> wow. So. I I was scared to eat fish again, but since I've got I'm on vacation this week, I was like, oh, the pill thing. <laughs> you forgot that part. <laughs> I'm all over the place today, boy. <laughs> um. At the same time, we found uh, a cheaper brand of uh, some of the vitamins we normally take. But it was also supposed to be a better brand. It was like, you know all natural gluten free sugar free dye free allergen free that was a lie <laughs> so we took those pills that night and um and we both broke out in high both broke out in high so we're like okay i don't know if it was the fish or the vitamins we're gonna have to we're gonna have to see so yeah. got to this week and was like all right we're gonna we're gonna test the fish and we did and well, fish and we threw those vitamins away yep yep so very happy that i can eat sardines again uh-huh so, because that's a simple thing to make it really is just uh, marinate them a little bit and some some citrus yeah a little lemon juice a little olive oil herbs and spices whatever you want then um after you let them sit in the refrigerator for about an hour or two you plop them in some tapioca flour, tapioca flour boom boom mix some spices in with that if you want to and then fry them in the pan oh they're so good yeah that's another recipe that we got from mel juan from well fed or well fed too, I can't remember which. Right. The point is, both of them were really good for us. We were very happy to to have those books. Very happy. Yeah, that they. It's like a lot of our books are are how to make paleo um, regular foods. Like we got the. Uh, I can't remember the actual title of it. We just call it the Bajelli book. <laughs> it's it's um. Dang. No, it's the jelly book. <laughs> <laughs> right. And clean eating with the dirty mind, uh, where you take all kinds of sweets Ooh, so tasty. that are primal. But, uh, you know, well fed is, is one of those, it's like core staples cooking yeah. book. Nom Nom Paleo is another good one. Yes. Yes, definitely. And it has funny, cute comics and cartoons. Oh my God, that book is so cute. And, you know, our, our, our seven year old and our nine year old will get that book off the shelf and look at it. <laughs> when we first started Paleo, Victor would take every single Paleo book and read through it. And it was so cute. <laughs> yeah. But the like the, the cutest and most heartbreaking moment was what it was a few days after or maybe a week, I don't remember. Yeah, it was like a week or two. 
week or two after. Because Victor, you know, he'd always been a, a nice boy, but he always been very quiet. He spent most of his time just sitting on the couch or playing quietly by himself, didn't want to play with the Yeah, he would just play sister. Legos all day long and He's he would just withdrawn. be very insulated. He would just sit there with his Legos and not really react to anything around him. Yeah. And then we switched to Paleo. And he woke up. It was amazing. And so after being on Paleo for a week or two, he looks at us and he goes, I'm so glad we started eating paleo. I feel so much better. And I was just like so heartbreaking. He like goes, so <laughs> Yeah. He's a big hug. Because he just, you know, he didn't have the words to communicate with us because he didn't know any other way of feeling. He just didn't feel good at all. I don't know what that's like because I was a very sick child. So I know what it's like to just not feel good all the time and not be able to to talk about it because I didn't know any other way to feel. Yeah, it's so, it's like, you know, there's no question <laughs> of us ever not eating this way ever again. You have a kid, your kid come up to you and say, thank you, I feel so much better. Little tiny kid, yeah, you're done. That's yeah. it. This is what you do. <laughs> you know, even if I didn't feel better doing it, from that alone, we would be doing this. But then we feel so much better, you know? Yep. So, oh. thank you for the paleo. I feel <laughs> so much better now. Well, we have made it back home, and I guess that's... Yeah, we should probably... Yeah, we got stuff to do today. We do. We got a busy day. We got videos to edit, books to edit. That's right. Cookbook coming out today, so look for it on Amazon. Amazon Unlimited. You know, Kindle. Kindle Unlimited. That's what I'm Yeah. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yay! Yay! Oh, and the book is called The A to Z Paleo Challenge. Cookbook. By me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. By Deborah McVeigh. Deborah McVeigh. So, all right, like and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye. bye.